Today we will talk about fundamentals of data analytics and statistics. There are many types of data analytics. One of the most important type is inferential data analytics and we are going to discuss it today in this video. It is based on statistics. It is a very simple tool of analyzing or exploring the truthfulness of a hypothesis. We have numerous examples in our day-to-day -day life of the scene. Let's take a simple example of recruitment. So, when a company goes for recruitment to a particular college, what happens? Well, they go with the basic assumption that all the candidates are same. This is called null hypothesis. Null comes from the word no. No difference. So, null. Then sampling is done in the form of group discussions, personal interviews or various other methods. However, if at the end of the process, all the candidates are not selected and only a few are selected, that means the company has actually rejected their null hypothesis. We have a demonstration for you in this video to explain this whole concept in detail. We have used a deck of cards. We have done distribution in two different ways. Individual cards are being distributed. We are noting down the time required for the same and will be comparing it with method 2 that we will be showing you in the later video. I am going to repeat this experiment 5 times and that will be for the reliability purpose so that even one random occurrence will not affect the whole data that we have been collecting. So the first data is 33.54. This is method 2. We are distributing 13 cards at a time. We will be collecting the time required for the method 2. Similar to method 1, even 5 iterations will be done for method 2 to get more reliable data. The data collected for method 2 is 31.21. This is the data of the 5 iterations done for method 1 and method 2. You must have seen and concluded that the method 2 is better than method 1. Obviously, it's evident from the data. But why not validate this using a hypothesis testing? Every hypothesis testing starts by defining a null hypothesis. A null hypothesis is universal. It states that there is no difference, mind you, absolutely no difference between the method 1 and method 2. The null hypothesis or the H0 or H0 as it is well known may not always be true. So we challenge it by saying that method 2 is better than method 1 and this forms our alternate hypothesis that is H1. Here we will try and see if we can reject the null hypothesis. So when we reject the null hypothesis, there is a fear that we may be committing a type 1 error. A error in which you reject the correct null hypothesis. And this probability of committing the type 1 error is known as the level of significance. It is denoted by the letter P. To get the P value, we will have to use a T test. But what about the calculations? Do not worry about the intricacies of the t-test. Softwares like Minitab, SPSS and various others do it for you. All we are interested is in our value of the level of significance 
Are we committing type 1 error or not? Universally accepted value of the level of significance for not committing type 1 error is less than 5%. If the value is less than 5%, we can safely reject the null hypothesis. And if more, we will continue accepting the null hypothesis. Let's see our value of P. The P value is 11%. Wow! All this while, the data led us to believe that the method 2 is better than method 1 with just one glance. But when verified with a t-test, we got to know that our level of significance is more than 5%. And so, we are committing a type 1 error. We will have to continue to accept the null hypothesis which states that there is no difference between the method 1 and method 2 of distribution of the cards. So, we can safely say that inferential data analytics has actually prevented us from being misled. What is seen and what is obvious is not always true. Let's summarize what we have learnt in the video today. Well, the whole process is very simple. Step 1 is to identify the null hypothesis. Step 2 is to do sampling. Step 3 is to get data. Step 4 is to check if null hypothesis can be rejected safely with the various testing and the results. If yes, we have to check the probability of committing type 1 error. If the probability is less than 5%, then it can be rejected safely. And this is also called as level of significance. In my experience of more than 40 years, I found this approach very useful. Always confirm the results and never got misled. There is another concept to it, slightly different, which is also important when you are stating a fact with a percentage or a particular number. And that concept is called confidence interval. Well, we have our next video to explain that concept.